Welcome back to SK Cars 2.0. Today, we're diving into something truly special, the 2025 HAL Tejas MK2. It's not a car in the traditional sense, but rather an engineering marvel that represents the next generation of India's indigenous fighter aircraft technology. The Tejas MK2 isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete transformation in design, performance, and capability, making it one of the most exciting aircraft projects of this decade. So, let's take a closer look at its exterior design, cockpit features, performance specifications, and overall value in terms of innovation and technology. Starting with the exterior, the HAL Tejas MK2 has been designed with precision and aerodynamics in mind. Its overall shape has evolved significantly from the earlier Tejas variants. The MK2 is longer, sleeker, and more refined with a length of about 14.6 meters, which makes it roughly a meter longer than the Tejas MK-1A. This increase in size allows for more internal fuel storage, additional avionics, and a larger payload capacity. The aircraft's body is constructed from advanced composite materials, which not only reduce weight but also enhance durability and stealth characteristics. Visually, the Tejas MK-2 gives off a more aggressive and futuristic appearance. The airframe now incorporates diverterless supersonic intakes, a design improvement that reduces drag and radar signature while improving overall airflow efficiency into the engine. The nose has been slightly elongated to accommodate a more powerful radar system, while the canopy design offers a panoramic field of view, giving the pilot superior situational awareness. The twin tail design is absent, as Tejas continues to rely on a single vertical stabilizer, maintaining its compact and lightweight profile. The paint scheme of the MK2 also plays a role in radar signature reduction, with radar-absorbent coatings that enhance stealth performance. From a functional standpoint, every line on the Tejas MK2 has a purpose. The extended fuselage allows it to carry more internal fuel, approximately 3,400 kilograms, increasing its range significantly. The aircraft's wings are optimized for both high-speed agility and stability at lower speeds, making it versatile in various mission profiles. It features 11 hardpoints in total, an upgrade from the previous generation, allowing it to carry a wider variety of air-to-air -air missiles, precision-guided munitions, and electronic warfare pods. This expanded payload capacity makes the MK-2 capable of fulfilling both air superiority and ground attack roles efficiently. Moving inside, the cockpit of the 2025 HAL Tejas MK2 showcases a complete digital transformation. It's a full glass cockpit, fitted with large, high-resolution multifunction displays that give the pilot real-time flight data, mission parameters, and radar imagery. The new wide-area display replaces multiple smaller screens, presenting critical information in a single integrated interface. This not only enhances situational awareness but also reduces pilot workload. The heads-up display HUD, has been upgraded with sharper projection and better visibility under varying lighting conditions. The cockpit layout is ergonomically designed, with touch-sensitive controls and a hands-on throttle and stick HOTAS, configuration that ensures the pilot can control nearly all systems without taking hands off the controls. There's also the inclusion of an advanced helmet-mounted display system, allowing the pilot to target enemies simply by looking at them, a technology seen on modern Western fighters. The overall environment inside the cockpit is designed for comfort and control, especially during high-speed maneuvers and long missions. When it comes to performance, the Tejas MK2 is a major step. Up from its predecessor, powering the aircraft is the General Electric F414GE in 6 turbofan engine, capable of producing 98 kilonewtons of thrust with afterburner. This engine provides the MK-2 with a top speed exceeding Mach 1.8 and a combat range of approximately 1,000 km, extendable with aerial refueling. Compared to the MK-1A's GEF-404 engine, this represents a significant boost in both thrust and performance. The aircraft's agility is one of its most defining traits. The combination of its fly-by-wire control system, lightweight composite airframe, and advanced aerodynamics allows it to execute tight turns and rapid acceleration maneuvers effortlessly. The flight control software has been fine-tuned to make the aircraft both stable and highly responsive. Pilots can expect better handling at both high and low speeds, which is essential for dogfighting scenarios and precision strike missions. In terms of avionics and sensors, the Tejas MK-2 is fitted with the indigenous UTOM AESA radar. 
This radar provides superior tracking and targeting capabilities, capable of simultaneously monitoring multiple air and ground targets. The radar is complemented by an advanced electronic warfare suite, infrared search and track IRST system, and radar warning receivers that enhance survivability in hostile environments. These systems ensure that the MK2 can operate effectively even in dense electronic warfare conditions. Weapons compatibility is another area where the Tejas MK2 excels. It can carry an impressive mix of weaponry, including beyond visual range BVR missiles like the Astra and Derby, as well as short-range infrared-guided missiles. For ground attacks, it supports a variety of precision-guided bombs, laser-guided munitions, and anti-ship missiles. The centerline pylon allows for external fuel tanks or heavy ordnance, providing excellent mission flexibility. The Tejas MK2 also features mid-air refueling capability through a probe and drogue system, significantly extending its endurance during long-range missions. In addition, the aircraft's digital flight control system and onboard oxygen generation system OBOGS, ensure high operational efficiency and safety. From a maintenance and cost perspective, the Tejas MK2 is designed with affordability and sustainability in mind. Being an indigenous platform, it offers lower operating costs compared to imported fighters, and spare parts availability will be streamlined through local production. HAL has made significant progress in modular design and ease of maintenance, ensuring that the aircraft can be quickly serviced and deployed when needed. When it comes to pricing, while HAL has not released an official figure, the estimated cost of a Tejas MK2 is expected to be around 50 to 60 million United States dollars per unit, depending on configuration and equipment. This places it in a competitive range compared to international fighters like the Gripen E and the F-16 Block 70 while offering a higher degree of domestic control and customization for the Indian Air Force. In conclusion, the 2025 HAL Tejas MK-2 is not just an aircraft, it's a symbol of technological progress and self-reliance. It brings a refined design, advanced avionics, greater combat capability, and improved performance.